Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are opening this thread up. And it's FB, you know what that stands for, peeps? Fun box. So, the thread up fun box has got 10 random items that are supposed to be fun for $28, I believe is what I paid for this. So we're gonna open up and we're gonna see what kind of fun we're gonna have with this fun box. Was it worth the $28? We're about to find out. If you are new here, please go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. Just like this, opening fun boxes, looking at jewelry, reselling online, and what have you. 28 bucks for 10 items. Well, let's find out what we've got. Comes wrapped in this polka dotty paper. And let us see what's the first. Hang on a second. Well, I gotta say, this item is fun for somebody. It. I keep wanting to grab it, but it's like right at the crotch. So let's uh, let's review the first item, shall we? Oh, daddy. Daddy's right. We have got a bodysuit, another Victoria's Secret bodysuit doodad that is small. And then I keep wanting to grab it, but I don't want to grab it by the crotch. It still has the tags, but is it new? You never can tell. Well, it's got this tag. Where's the other tag? Um, I don't know. Uh, again, not so much fun for me. Look, I just, there's something about the word crotch that is not fun. So if you, I mean, notes to thread up. If you have to include the word crotch to describe the item, uh, maybe it's not a fun, fun box uh, item. So this, <laughs> I can't fold it without the freaking crotch getting in my face. I don't want to see you. I don't want to look at you. Crotch away. All right, there we go. Okay, the next item we've got here. I've gotten fun, I've got a fun box before and it was like sunglasses and scarves and hats and stuff like that. I haven't gotten one in a while. So I didn't anticipate random clothes. This is stars above, um, size medium. I mean, it's super soft, but goodness knows I can't wear that. So it looks like pajama pants. <clears throat> Let me unfold them and we'll take a look closer together. So these pajama pants, I have to say, are super soft. I do like the material that they're made of. I think they're pajama pants. They feel like my pajama pants. They are Stars Above brand, which is, what is it? I don't know where that's from. Features, matching top available. Oh, uh, where is this from? I don't even know. Is there another tag? Is it, okay, Stars Above. Um, yeah, really soft. I like that, that's cool. I like the sassy tassels. They're not dirty, thankfully. And, I mean, I guess we could sing it. I know you're saying, Margaret, you're not singing it. We can sing it. Ready? On a three. One and a two and a sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! I uh, didn't think I'd be singing sassy tassels in a thread up fun box for some pants. But here we are. Those, again, I'm probably going to make a lot of some clothes and put those in there. Next in the box, oh, let's go for, you know what, no, let's just, let's just dive into this. Look, I feel like this is just like a random clothes box so far, right? It's a bra, a sports bra? I don't even know because the girls wouldn't I can't remember the last time I would fit in something like this. It's definitely used because the padding in here is like crumpled. Yeah, a used sports bra. I don't know how fun that is. 
let's take a closer look. <sighs> okay, I get it, thread up, that you're wanting to get rid of like used bras and not sell them, but in no way is this fun. <laughs> Except for me making fun of getting a used bra. Look, bra people, like the padding is crimped in it, like bent, and there's no flattening it out. So like, you're gonna end up with somebody thinking you've got this, what is that, three inches? A three inch long diagonal nipple on both sides. I guess whoever folded it just kept it folded really hard. So if you wanna walk around, maybe that's fun for you, to the world and be like, hey everybody, check out my three inch long diagonal nipples, um, then hey, this is the bra for you. Sports bra, I guess. Is it a sports bra? Is that a brand I'm supposed to know? I don't know clothes. Maybe y'all are like, Margaret, that's a brand. That's so good, good brand. And I'm supposed to be excited about it, but I'm not. Um, Cause it looks like a used sports bra. I mean, lightly used, but nonetheless. <laughs> if you're yelling at me about this brand, cause I don't know it, let me know in the chat. Yell at me in the chat or comments, whatever you call it. Then, okay, haha, <laughs> something that's not a bra or a clothing item. I think it's a lunchbox. Let's set it down and look closer. Okie dokie. Now we're on to some not clothing. This appears to be, it's a Vera Bradley. I don't know the brand or the pattern. They all have names. Is it a lunchbox? Perhaps. That might be there for your school badge or work badge. Let's open it up and take a peek inside. Inside, we have got an insulated bag. So, it looks to be in new condition, which is nice. And yeah, that one I would consider a good fun bag. I don't have to say crotch at any point when I'm talking about a Vera Bradley insulated lunch bag. I don't say, smell this crotch. No, I say, smell the inside of this bag and see if it smells like a, a dirty refrigerator. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> thank you, Vera Bradley, and thank you, ThreadUp. <laughs> well, again, somebody's planning a fun night. Gracious goodness, this is so tiny. I mean, good for you, girl. This is a Victoria's Secret Extra Small. All right, let's look at this. Then, there is this very slinky dinky, slinky dinky do, right? Slinky dinky dinky dink, slinky dinky do, I love you. So, somebody wearing this might have a, a fun night with a fun box. <laughs> but, uh, again, it's a Victoria's Secret extra small slinky dinky nighty. Uh, with a slit up the side. It's in this blush. My colors are blush and bashful. Name that movie. I've got two shades of blush and bashful. Uh, anyway, she would be wearing this, blush and bashful. Double points if you name the actress. It smells like thrift store, so I'm guessing it's something someone thrifted because it still has that thrift store smell. Guess what? More clothes. <laughs> what are they trying to say? Then we've got these Old Navy shorts. Are they pajama shorts or for real shorts? Let's let's take a closer look. Okie dokie. Um, this, I mean fun, perhaps. Uh, I I wish, you know, because you're not able to choose a size, so it's not super fun to have clothes that you can't wear, no matter how cute they are. So this is a size large. Your gal, your Texas gal, is not a size large yet, maybe someday, but at the moment, nay, she is not. I mean, it looks like handmade, honestly. Um, but it's just a very cheapy material. So they must be pajama pants. I are pajama shorts. I don't know. What are we gonna do with this? 
I may just create a little section because I have a couple other fun boxes that I got and any of the clothes that I get I may just make a clothing lot random to sell I don't know donate so there's that we'll see what's yeah we'll see then I feel like I'm getting more than 10 items which is good at least I've got a bag of my tagalongs is this counting as an item we're gonna open that up what is that is that a tube top oh no it's a pencil case okay hang on let's take a peek we've got a bag in a bag shall we zoom out I think we shall all right we have got a bag a fun bag in our fun box I feel like I got a bonus here but I I am gonna not feel like I gypped somebody because I don't like all those clothes <laughs> truly <laughs> let's see oh we're opening this up firstly we have got this my tagalongs bag I guess you put some what goes in here y'all I want to pretend like I know but I don't know oh yes I do okay this is I do have one of these this is like a waterproof bag for your phone I do know what this is. Look at me go. So this, your phone goes in there, and then this is supposed to like roll up. You seal it, and you roll it, and that seals down, and then that seals down, and then you got your phone in here and whatever else you need um, to make sure that your stuff doesn't get wet. I have one, but not this cute. Mine is just like a straight up black one. So that's cool. Then in the bag, this is not a tube top it's a pencil pouch and i love the double like the sequins that you can move you know like you can change the changeable sequins love it so cute pencil pouch anybody home Droop. nobody's home all right that's awesome i love it and then please don't be underwear it is oh boy walk like an angel do y'all follow Celeste Barber? Oh my gosh. If you do not, it is your mission. Should you, should you choose to accept it, and I think you should if you like to laugh. Celeste Barber, Instagram, she, <laughs> this walk like an angel, like just speaks to me because I feel like it is Celeste Barber all over the place. I'm going to see if I can insert a, a wonderful clip of her. She'll take like video clips or pictures that supermodels have done and she does her own take on them and it is so funny uh, it just uh highlights the absurdity of it all so these walk like an angel cutie pooty socks um i may have to keep them just to remind me don't take it so seriously and bring bring out your best celeste barber because dang she's funny okay <laughs> That made me laugh. That was fun. The fun box. These L. Erickson, not Leaf Erickson, but cute. We have four barrettes. I actually been wearing these a lot. This uh, actual, oh, these are from Nordstrom Rack. Um, this style, I've been pulling my hair back and I will definitely use these. So I like it. And finally in here in this baggie, I can't tie the knot without you. Well, okay. What a way, like, would this be a proposal? I think you can do better. If you're going to propose to your girl, um, don't get her hair ribbons or hair ties. Maybe some jewelry and a nice dinner. You know, you don't have to get too fancy. It depends on the girl, though. You might have to. Um, but maybe not with the hair ties. Cool. Cool? I, got, I think I gave you some good, solid advice today on this one. Okay. Maybe I do have 10 items. <clears throat> Ooh, jewelry. Now we're talking. The baggie says Kate Spade, but we'll look and see if it is. Next, we've got this. It's marked Kate Spade on the bag. Let's see. Again, jewelry. Always a good option. We have got, aren't they pretty? I love bangles. Little bangles. We're going to sing the bangle song too? You are 
in for a treat if you're only here for the phone box and have not been here for jewelry unboxings. You getting double songs. You're welcome. Here we go. You gonna sing it? Those of you who know the words. <gasps> little bangles on the hillside. Little bangles made a ticky tacky. Little bangles on the hillside. And they all look just the same. There's a green one and a gold one and a bobble one and a another green one. And they're all made out of ticky tacky. And they all look just the same. Alright. <laughs> I just had someone ask what that song is based on. And it is from the song Little Boxes on the Hillside. Little Boxes on... Yeah. Made of ticky tacky. Or is it Little Houses? Little Houses. I think it's Little Boxes. Anyway. I love these. So this one with the bobbles. It is marked Kate Spade down here. I love the little knobbly bobblies. Then we have a straight up gold tone bangle which i love i have a couple of gold tone and gold bangles that i like to layer oh that one's got oh this is heart of gold over there oh thanks you don't say does that one also the heart of gold may be a catch and release for me does that one say heart? no this one does not say heart of gold this one was meant to be for me because it says heart of gold <laughs> think much of yourself today margaret well, you know what? Sometimes you gotta pump your own self up. Sometimes it is in order for you to pump your own self up. You have permission. I'm giving myself permission. I'm giving you permission. You've got a heart of gold too. You do. Okay, this one is not marked, so it is a uh, question questionable if it is actually Kate Spade, because usually they're marked. But it is a nice trio. I will likely be keeping this one. Uh, for myself. And these will probably either, I don't know, that one's really nice too. I don't know. Yeah, maybe this one will go with uh, the necklace that we got. Socks! Okay, these are Mucklux knee-high socks. Let's take a peek a bit closer on these. Then we have some Mucklux socks. I actually have some other Mucklux socks. They're so soft. So, original Mucklux knee-high socks. These are super soft. And that is like, what, like a, almost a periwinkle blue, but not really, blue-gray. Uh, OSFM. I don't know what that stands for. One size fits most, probably. <laughs> uh, but we could try to come up with something clever. What is it? Microfiber, polyester, nylon, and span spandex. All right, well, that's soft. My sister is a sock lover. So I might be saving these for her because she loves the socks. And these would be uh, good candidates for her, I think. Ooh, more jewelry. This one is a J. Crew. We'll take a peek at that one. Next up we have jewelry, which is always, always a good option for a fun box because jewelry is fun. Look at this beautiful J. Crew piece. Uh, my, uh, nah. Are you missing any stones? Because that would not be fun. Let's see. This is very encrusted. Encrusted with the gorgeousness, my darlings. Okay. Ah, uh, beautiful, right? So it's got these turquoisey, I don't know, it's not quite turquoisey, like sea foam, green and orange. And yeah, so. J. Crew stuff can sell. It can definitely bring in a good profit. So this is one that I will likely put in one of my auctions and uh, and let that go to a a beautiful friend of the channel because it's it's so pretty, right? I think that's a good a good candidate for one of the channel auctions hosted on Sundays at 3 p.m. Central. Mark your calendars and set the reminder. Paper's coming out. Come here, you earrings. We've got some earrings we'll look at closer. Okay, next up we've got these earrings. And these earrings, can you see them? Let me zoom in on them. Uh, the colors are great. They're actually kind of match what I'm wearing today. They have got these really cool stripes. It's Charming Charlie, which is not, you know, like an expensive brand or anything. Uh, it just kind of like, yeah, six bucks on those. But 
that doesn't necessarily mean that's how much you have to sell them for because they're really cool. They're pretty, they would go with lots of things. They're colorful and cheerful and perky, right? So yeah, those are some cute, stripy, charming Charlie earrings. And FN boxes, Primrose. It's a bit shiny on tops, but we've got this box here, so it's Primrose. What do you think it is? It's from Kohl's, 50 bucks originally. Ah, all right. There is a set of cubic zirconia, 18 karat rose gold over sterling silver earrings. That's pretty cool. I, I don't know. We'll see what the resale value is on those. They're pretty cute though, huh? Bling, bling, bling. Cute. Uh, fun box seal of approval. Yay or nay on these pajama pants. I'm going to say, meh. If they were my size, they would be a thumbs up. Super fun. The, <laughs> the bodysuit or the crotchy suit, we should say. Uh, I can't with the crotch. If I could make, you know, if I could Celeste Barber that, that would be fun. But I'm not going to put that on to make anybody laugh. Ever. So, bomb for me on that one. The sports bra that has the diagonal nipples. Making up the stories about it was super fun. But overall, meh. The nighty negligee, I guess it's not a negligee, nighty. The blush and bashful, my two shades of blush and bashful. Looks like the Churchill's throwing a Pepto-Bismol something. You know the line. Okay. Um, <laughs> Pepto-Bismol. All right. The, no. I feel like it's not fun to be sent clothes that you can't wear. So I'm going to give that one a meh. Same thing with the shorts. I mean, if I could wear them, they'd be cute and comfy, but your gal has got some curves, and, and that is not going to cut it. Okay. Now we're getting to some of the fun stuff. Mukluk socks. Yay. I say yes to that because I can send this to my sister and make her smile, and that's always fun. Pencil pouch. I feel like I got a bonus, though, because I did get some extra things. I think the... Sequiny pencil pouch is definitely a thumbs up. The My Tagalongs bag that I can take my phone and all my goodies to the pool or wherever and not have to worry about it getting wet. I think that is a thumbs up. The Charming Charlie earrings. You know, it's jewelry. Of course. It's a thumbs up. The Sweetie Petite earrings. Definitely a thumbs up. That jewelry is going to get the thumbs up. <laughs> Same deal with the J. Crew necklace for show. <laughs> These socks are not my favorite socks, but because they say wear walk like an angel and it reminded me of Celeste Barber, I'm gonna give that definitely a thumbs up too. Can you see them? There they are, okay. Then the Vera Bradley lunchbox. I again think that could get a thumbs up because that is fun and not a crotch item. <laughs> Little bangles. I love the little bangles. So they too get the thumbs up. Tying the knot. I'm going to give this a thumbs up only because I feel like I was able to impart some really good advice because of that. So thumbs up. And then the barrettes that I will use and things I use can get a thumbs up as well. If you enjoyed this video, learned something new, or smiled even one time, go down there and leave me a comment and say, I smiled. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And I will see you on the next one, everybody. Have a good evening. Bye.